Hi everybody, Jason Pettis here. Uh, if you're seeing this video, uh, it's most likely that I've already talked to you a little bit about uh, this organization that I've uh, been starting to get involved with down here in Hyde Park here in Chicago. SHOP, uh, Southside Hub of Production. Uh, this is a new cultural artistic group uh, who have been given a year-long lease uh, to this space, the Fen House. It's a Victorian mansion uh, just right across the street from the University of Chicago campus. It's owned by the Neighborhood Unitarian Church. It's a 16-room mansion, and uh, shop in general is going to be uh, turning all the different rooms all up and down in the house into uh, different things and using it for different spaces. Uh, down in the basement, we're gonna have some practical workshops down there. Uh, uh, way up on the third floor, there's an interesting little experimental performance space, maybe for small theaters and yoga groups and things. Uh, we've got studios on the second floor and hangout spaces. That's where kids are gonna be able to hang out during live events as well. Um, <clears throat> I thought I would shoot a little video today to show you the spaces that I'm gonna be working on in particular here in Fenton House, give you a little better idea of uh, what kind of space you uh, might be looking forward to if you come and do a show today. Uh, my camera operator today, by the way, is uh, the founder and head of shop, Laura Schaefer. Laura, say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> Oops, I guess I have to turn it around again. And uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, and, and so I want to thank her for taking the time and helping us shoot this video. Mm -hmm. This is the library. Uh, it's the actual old library of this mansion. We're going to be doing literary events here all fall and all winter long. Um, I'm going to be in charge of this uh, space uh, and putting in live events here. Uh, it uh, can hold, uh, I think if you pack people in here, you could hold maybe 25 or 30 people, something like that. Um, and of course, it'll feel very comfortable with just 10 people or so. And that, that's why I'm kind of excited about doing some literary events uh, down here. Uh, for anybody who's coming across this uh, just randomly at YouTube, uh, let me explain uh, what we're looking for in case you're interested in submitting a proposal. Uh, number one, we're looking for uh, every uh, existing literary organization in the city to come down and do a special Hyde Park edition of their regular show. Um, part of the mission of SHOP is to try to sort of raise the awareness and raise the excitement level of the local Hyde Park artistic community. And I think this is a great opportunity to come in and tell everyone in Hyde Park what you're doing in your part of the city. Bring your regular performers, bring your regular audience members, do a special show down here. Uh, second, we're looking for academic groups who would be interested in doing actual, literal, Victorian-style readings in this space, especially as fall and winter comes up and the weather gets a little cooler and we feel much more academic and school year -y. Um, If you uh, are interested in picking a famous writer and having your friends and other performers come in and do a staged uh, readings of those uh, writers in this space, uh, let me know. Drop a line and, 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 and send a proposal. And uh, third, speaking of stage readings, I'd like to also uh, invite uh, theater companies and uh, performance artists and people like that to come in and do any kind of performance-based project that doesn't involve a lot of moving around. A stage reading of a script or perhaps a, uh, a film presentation with a, with a lecture or things like that. This is a great little space to do that. So I really hope that you have an opportunity to come and do a uh, show here in the fall and the winter in the library at the Fen House. Uh, we're gonna go now and take a look at the other space. If you follow me, we're gonna go take a little peek at uh, what the rest of this uh, first floor looks like, actually. This is, the, this is the main space of the house, and this is where all the biggest events are gonna take place. Uh, renovation hasn't even started with the house yet. That starts uh, next week, and uh, this is all gonna look a lot different by the time uh, uh, the space opens in October 1st. We've also got this great dining room space in here. You're gonna hold uh, banquets and fundraisers. Is that right, Lori, things like that? Yeah, we'll have our, um We'll have various shows in here, exhibits and potlucks, um, various uh, organized meals with conversations with artists will be held in here. But right in here is my favorite space in the entire house. <laughs> the old Victorian pantry system has miraculously stayed in place this entire time, over a century and a quarter. 
We're going to take this space and we're going to turn it into a tiny little whimsical art gallery. And it's going to be specifically dedicated to installation artists who would like to come in here and do special shows where they take these uh, shelf spaces and build something really just uh, interesting and uh, fun and something that people will really get a kick out of. And then we're also going to throw little tiny receptions in this little tiny room <laughs> with food and drink and, and music and all that. I'm really, I'm really just highly looking forward to it. Um, so anyway, for more of all that, you can contact me. I like Jason at gmail.com. It's running at the bottom of your screen right now. Um, I hope to hear from you and uh, I look forward to uh, putting together uh, as many different cool, interesting events as this fall and winter as we can. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by.